Hey guys, I'm going to show off how to do a custom texture now. So one thing I'm not super fond about with this is the quality of this texture, this chomp thing. Uh, it it kind of is broadly appropriate in that you know it's it's a periphery read. It's, it says danger. It's moving around, but it looks low res. It looks a little uh, yeah compared to sort of the polish that's in the, all the rest of the icons. And I don't like that it's just white, too. For some reason, the color tinting is not working for me. So let's fix it. Um, here's what I did so far. Um, slash PA. Uh, I'm going to go to the buff. There it is. I'm going to copy it to just a blank page. And then I'm going to go to that page. And I let me turn off that one. So now I've got a version of it I can just mess with. Um, and then I'm going to set its blend mode to alpha key and make it just always on by making it a static aura. Let's turn off the pulse. And I'll set it to be 100% size. Okay, so that's the texture. I'm scaling it up quite a lot. Uh, and there it is. Let me make it sort on top of everything. Okay, so I'm just going to control print screen. For me, that's a thing called green shot that gives me this little marquee. Uh, so I've got it here. Now, I, I've already done the painting. I'll just sort of, but uh, basically, I took this guy. Magic wand, zero tolerance, contiguous, and I've got some little shortcuts to crop and flatten. So I took that, pasted it into a um, a bigger texture. So this is a 1024 by 1024 image, or sorry, 256 by 256. The the one I'm making is a 1024 by 1024. It has to be a power of two number. So I uh, took this thing and I copied it twice, once with filtering, I scaled it up with filtering disabled, so it just gives you the sort of hard edges. Um, and then let me show you the, uh, the build up of this guy. So it's basically all of this, just to quickly demonstrate what I painted exactly. Um, so I pulled these two layers over. I got rid of the black there, and then I started by just making a circle that roughly overlaps it. Let's go full screen for this part of the video. And then I just started painting layers. So I gave myself some blackout stuff. I should have a just fully black layer at the bottom of this. OK. So I just kind of painted into the edges, painted a little more highlight using this as a mask. I just control clicked that. This is Photoshop. And then I just painted some dots kind of around the edge and went filter, blur, radial blur. Uh, I've got the wrong thing selected. Filter, blur, radial blur. Uh, I did 50 and then 100 and then 100 twice. Uh, and then with this one, I expanded and blurred the mat. So you got a little bit of stuff going on outside of it. There's some little high frequency detail lines. Same same deal, just tighter dots. Uh, and then I made a copy of this, shrunk it to kind of make it a little stronger bordered. Uh, and then I took that and a scaled down one and made a mat so I could paint a little highlight on the corners of that and make it brighter, painted some little glows, another blurred mat. I don't know what's in that layer. Uh, I did a, uh, the original one shrunk down to maybe halfway between those two and a stroke to give it a, like a little sort of highlight line going down the middle and then painted out the top and bottom of it. Levels to brighten it a bit and then a couple of this one on uh, flood fill just kind of a, a saturated yellow linear burn mode opacity 30 and then this is a just a multiply of a lemon yellow 47 percent so there we go take all that 
save as called a TGA. So now here I've got the Photoshop file and a TGA. Uh, from there, you go to your WoW folder, World of Warcraft, Retail Interfaces, Add-ons, Power, or Custom, and paste the texture there. And go back to WoW. I probably need to reload UI or something. So, so that texture is technically in the right place. Um, so let's see if I can just copy this guy now. I don't know that that will work directly, but if I go custom number, put in the path, it hasn't loaded it yet. So let's turn that off for the moment. Uh, let's reload UI. I don't know if that'll do it or not, but let's find out. No, I probably need to relaunch WoW. Let's try that now. I got a few instances open. I have five accounts that I run in <laughs> multiboxing. Okay, let's try it again, see if it works. So this is on my Paladin. I just got a new uh, M.2 SSD drive. I don't know if it's NVMe or not, but it loads pretty fast. Uh, there we go. Let's try it again. Hey, awesome. Yeah, it just took a reboot. So there we go. There is my texture. I really don't need that anymore. That was just a test and my other test. So now let's go back to the proper ones under buff. It's this guy. Edit, custom texture. Yeah, that looks a lot nicer. And then I've got another version of it here. There we go. Let's get in fights. Hit it. Much more subtle and pretty. There you go. That's how you add a custom texture to World of Warcraft. I'll probably edit it again and make the little uh, teeth a little stronger in here. Um, that feels pretty good already. All right. This is DJ. We'll talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.